always wanted to be a cowboy. Everybody where I used to live on the, in Chicago wanted to be a lawyer, a doctor, a dentist. I wanted to be a cowboy. Ken Freeman has long been fascinated with the American West. After a long career as an illustrator, he moved to Arizona and began painting. He says this kind of art explores the spirit of the West. Modern images tell a story of continuity with Western values. Historical paintings capture a moment in time. We have a very short history out here, and the cowboy is the history. We like it because it's not there anymore. And it's the only thing people could remember of what the history of this country that these people came in and settled the whole western United States. Working the range is a favorite theme for artists. The cowboy on horseback herding cattle to market. Scottsdale, Arizona feature galleries where old and new western art is showcased. Ken Freeman says it gives him the opportunity to do the work he likes best. Showing the world what the American West really means and giving him a chance to do something he really loves. I started at 8 o'clock in the morning, worked till 5 o'clock, and then the day stops. Then I watch cowboy movies. In the brand, in close, close to the land. America's Heartland is made possible by They make up a small part of our population, but have a huge impact on our lives. They take business risks few others would tolerate, all on our behalf. They're American farmers who feed, fuel, and clothe the world. Monsanto would like to recognize them for all they do for the rest of us. Because ultimately, our success and everyone else's depends on theirs and by the American Farm Bureau Federation, the voice of agriculture. Well, I started quite young. I started in art school at eight years old. My mother used to take me on Saturday to the Art Institute in Chicago. And uh, from there, uh, she found a private teacher uh, when I was about 10 that I used to go to one night a week. And it was just, uh, it just bl blossomed from there that when I got into high school, I was able to uh, compete for scholarships. That's when they had 48 states. They had uh, six divisions of eight. And uh, I would win it every year and, uh, through Stanford University and they would supply the money for the art school and then I would go to the American Academy of Art. So every summer I would be in college. I would be like 13 years, of, I was 13 years old when I was in college. When I left school I stopped taking classes. I just went on to be an illustrator and uh, for 20 years I worked on about every major account you, in the country. And at 40 years old, I said, goodbye, crew world, I'm going to be a cowboy. And I did it so for the last 31 years, I've been a cowboy. I, even when I was an illustrator, I was doing paintings of cowboys. And I've been doing cowboys since I've been like 10 years old. So, but the thing was, uh, I took a trip to Arizona back in, uh, let's see, that would be 40. Uh, in, uh, can't remember the year, but I just add 40 on tonight, 1975. And uh, met with some galleries there and talked to them, and uh, they said, we'd love to represent you. 
and it was a gallery called Savage Galleries. He since has passed away many, many years ago. And uh, I shipped them a bunch of paintings and uh, got a check in the mail within about a month. And I, they said, keep painting, no more illustration. Then we moved out to Arizona, to Scottsdale. I work with the working cowboy. I don't do the, uh, like some of these guys do the shoot 'em up type of paintings. I do the working cowboy that works with cattle, works with saddles. I do a lot of things with rodeo. In fact, uh, one of the people in the press in Scottsdale uh, called me the Rembrandt of the rodeo. And uh, how that came about is that uh, a couple of people from some of the galleries out in Europe came out and were looking. They said, this guy paints cowboys in a technique of Rembrandt. So some smart uh, reporter heard that and named me Rembrandt of the rodeo. But I uh, did five rodeo paintings for the, the Parada del Sol. That uh, I did the centennial painting for Prescott. And I did the 50th anniversary for Davy, Florida. And no one has ever done a hundredth and a fiftieth. Weekends I do other things. I paint from 8.30 to 5 every day. It, it, it's a job that I love. I am lucky enough to be here with Mr. Robert Fuller. And Mr. Fuller, we're talking about the artist Kenneth M. Freeman, and he is the gentleman who did this wonderful portrait. Is that a fabulous portrait? Yes, it is. You know, I want to say, you know, I had the great privilege of, of knowing Ken when he was alive. He was not only a great artist, but he was a gentleman and a very, very nice man. And he also was a man of the West, you know, and I appreciated that from him. He knew it and he helped us a bunch. Tell me how you met Ken. Well, I met Ken, uh, it was kind of funny because I was just out and about and I'm a desert guide. I take people into the desert and so I was all dressed up and he walked up and he introduced himself and he said, I'm a painter and I think you have a great look. He said, I was wondering if it would be okay if I could paint you and I said, sure. And he said, uh, he said, we'll go out sometime into the desert and I'll take a few pictures and I'll talk to you and get to know you and uh, hopefully do some paintings. Well, we went out and uh, we went back into the desert and we did some great shots and we did it all afternoon and we became actually very, very good friends for years. I mean, I knew Ken from that point on and, and we were always very, very close and he was always a very good friend would do anything for me. I would call him up sometimes just to visit and uh, he would bounce ideas off of me as far as uh, some of the Western stuff to do. And we just had a great relationship. Nice man. Very, very genuine, charming human being. Yeah, well as an artist, you know, he painted as the, he was called the Rembrandt of the rodeo. Well, yeah, he, uh, yeah, dad had one of his paintings and sold it to Snuff Carrot. <laughs> I wish I had it now, you know? Hey, I met Ken about six years ago here at the Festival of the West. He and Bonnie were here. He had just completed the Waylon Jennings painting. And he seen me, stopped me, and said he would like to do a painting of me. He gave me his card. I called him a couple of weeks later and went out to his house. And I took him some photographs that I had taken north of Phoenix here in the mountains. And he was really impressed with the location. The background was really impressive. So I just told him it's only a couple miles from here. So Bonnie and he and I jumped in the Jeep and went right out to the location and they took about a hundred pictures. He had two 36 roll pictures. He took all of those and then she took a bunch of pictures. And then we picked out one that he did this particular painting of. Tell me about how you met Kenneth Freeman. Ken Freeman came to Handlebar J. I was about 19, 18 years old, or 19 years old, which was just a mere few years ago, uh, a couple, couple years ago, and, and counting. Uh, anyway, he came in, uh, and um, I really didn't know him, and he said, you know, I'd love to, 
to uh, take some pictures of you and use you as a, as a model for my work, you know? So I said, okay. At 19, I mean, you know, you can kind of say okay to anything. And so uh, we went out to one of our servers at the time, had a uh, ranch out in uh, Chandler. So we went out there and Ken took a bunch of pictures and uh, about a month or maybe a couple, two, three months later, he came in and said, well, here's, here's this work I've done. And it's like, oh my gosh, this guy's amazing. You know, and he had done, not, not this one. Actually, he, this was from the same photo shoot, but, uh, but the other picture after the ride was the, was the picture that he, that he had painted. And I'm holding a saddle and, and it was just a, just a beautiful job. And that's really the first time I met him. And Ken says, you know, I, I just got to get this picture of you. He says, you went through a pose right quick. And he says, I'm going to see if I can talk you through that again. And I went, Ken, I'm talking to this guy. He says, he'll understand. I'm like, oh, jeez. And he took it with a, with a Polaroid. And, I, and I'm going, okay, now you got the picture. What are you going to do with it? He says, I'm going to paint your portrait. I said, you ain't good enough. He says, I'm going to paint your portrait. I said, ah, yeah, okay. Then what are you going to do? He says, well, we can, we can sell the prints and we can get money for the organization and blah, 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 blah. I said, Ken, I said, I really don't like my picture being taken. I said, and I understand I don't have any choice now since I'm doing this. I said, but there's a million other things you can do to help raise money for the organization. He says, yeah, like what? I says, for one thing, you can sign the application. You can be my finance officer. He says, I can't do this. The heck you aren't. If you're going to take my picture, you're going to be my finance officer. <laughs> he says, Jesus, I don't know. I said, mm, too late. You're in. <laughs> you're getting uniformed up tomorrow. And that's how Kenneth M. Freeman became a Buffalo soldier. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And I, it's very seldom that you run across somebody that's got such a fire 24-7. You know, Ken loved the old West. It was in him.